Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. All right, hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'm mighty excited because of the number that you see on the screen. Absolutely right, we are talking about Android 11 and yes, that is your loved device K20 Pro. Now I came across this particular thread yesterday night. I installed it immediately. Back then there were no G apps and I you know, had a brief one hour experience and it really, really looked promising. Now this is a very, very initial build. It is not a daily driver, but I'll tell you what, this is the cleanest, smoothest and you know, stablest if there is a word like that. Android 11 build or first ROM release of a new Android version for any device that I have come across. So right off the bat, before we begin, let me just tell you a few things. First of all, we're gonna see how to flash this ROM. In order to do that, we will need Orange Fox recovery, we will need the ROM file, we will need the modified unofficial Android 11 G apps and we will need the Gcam APK. Yes, Gcam works fine, all the cameras work fine, the front camera works fine, Fingerprint sensor works fine and all almost all the Android 11 features are there as well. So hold on tight because this is going to be one exciting ride. So you know before we begin the flashing process I will go ahead and tell you as I mentioned earlier this is not a daily driver but once we install it and experience it I will let you know what to expect and how much can you use it. So if you look over here it says what's working it boots fingerprint everything works instructions just download this and use a orange fox recovery or any recovery that works for you i can tell you that what i have tried and tested is orange fox recovery works just fine with this particular rom uh, majisk doesn't work so safety net sort of fails se linux is still permissive so this is a first build and if you want to experience android 11 and maybe even try it for a couple of hours without missing any calls this is the best bet so let's get ready and let's actually flash it so as you can see i'm on rog rom this is a rom which will be reviewed soon on the channel so stay tuned for that let's go ahead and actually reboot into twrp and then we will see what is the flashing procedure for this particular rom all right now as you can see over here i am in orange fox recovery because this is an android version upgrade i'm going to format everything including the internal storage so i am going to format data as well now a word of caution over here if you are going to format data i would highly recommend please go ahead and back up everything so first things first let's go here let's go to manage partitions let's go to data select format data yes okay that is the first step towards android 11 awesomeness once that is done we will go to the main menu go to reboot and select recovery now once it boots back into recovery now you see that splash screen because i was using the rog rom so now we will be wiping everything including the vendor just to be safe so dalvik cache system vendor data and internal storage let's wipe all of those now remember at this point do not restart or reboot your phone now in this particular flash drive or pen drive i have the miui vendor file i have the rom i have the g apps and then i have the apk for gcam which should work just fine so let's connect the flash drive all right now once you've connected your otg go here select this menu and go to mount and select usb storage all right now over here select the drop down and select usb otg don't be alarmed by the number of files that you see over here these this is a pen drive i use for flashing so what we will do first is first we will flash the vendor so this is the vendor i'm using rafael in global because mine is a indian k20 pro so let's flash this first all right so once you have flashed the vendor let's go ahead and flash the actual rom this is the name of the rom aosp rafael ota and it's by the amazing developer Abhishek. Uh, now the surprising part is Android 11 was officially released by Google two to three days back. So big shout out to amazing developers like him. Select the zip 
and flash it. Then once this is flashed, we will go ahead and flash the G apps. Now, there is a small issue with G apps in which the setup screen or the setup menu of Google would force close. So you just have to delete it before flashing. Now I have done that with my version of G apps and I will upload it in the link mentioned below. So you can download the modified version. And despite that, we do have some permission related issues. Now this is semi stable. It's, it's maybe beta or alpha, whatever you want to call it but yes you can still experience it you will have a few bugs here and there but hey this is the first rom first build for android 11 on the k20 pro and for that matter it is absolutely stunning okay once the rom is done flashing we will go ahead and flash the g apps this is android 11 g apps nano select it and flash it all right, so as you can see, everything has been flashed. Let's wipe caches or cache, whatever you want to call it. And then let's go to reboot system. The first boot will take anywhere between two to three minutes. So please be very, very patient when that happens. Now, uh, you know, while the ROM boots, let me tell you, don't flash Majisk. It will just end up giving you a boot loop. Now, because you don't have Majisk, you don't have a lot of modules, which basically makes your phone safer. So if you are someone who was planning to use this as a daily driver, you will have problems using Google Pay and all the other banking applications because safety net fails. Let's wait for the phone to finish booting up. All right, so as you can see, we are on the home screen of Android 11. It did take two to three minutes to actually boot into it. As you can see over here, this is Android version 11 and we have the Android 11 Easter egg as well. So, you know, that was the quickest and the easiest way to install Android 11 on your K20 Pro. And in the next video, we will go ahead and cover the full feature of this particular ROM as to what exactly is available, what works, what doesn't works and how to set it up. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.